Hey guys, this is Tyler from Vice. Last week we documented the recent bombings in Chile, made a beat out of skate sounds with Mr. Green, ate caviar in Tehran, and premiered the first episode of our live late night radio show, Vice After Dark with John Lurie. This week we've got a whole new slate of videos for you to check out. This is the latest on Vice. On Motherboard, we met the gardening robots that could grow fresh food for astronauts in deep space. People's misconception about robotic gardening is that you're trying to replace the human completely, but really it's more about enabling the optimization between people and the care tasks. If the Earth one day is no longer inhabitable, we can still continue to progress. How could it get any better than floating in space and eating a fresh strawberry? I can't really think of anything better than that. On the Creators Project, we watched as artist Jason DeCaras Taylor installed Ocean Atlas, his 18-foot high, 60-ton underwater sculpture designed to take ecological pressure off Bahamian coral reefs. This piece, this atlas, is all about the younger generation supporting our oceans and stopping them from collapsing. The hardest part that I'm always worried about is the deployment, where there's waves, where there's changing light, changing conditions. It's definitely complicated, but it's also very, very hazardous. If any one of those divers got a limb anywhere near the slices, it could have crushed them. In the latest episode of The Politics of Food on Munchies, we went to the apple capital of the world to investigate the strange story of the grapele, an apple that tastes like a grape. Gary Snyder invented the grapele. I, I asked if he would show me where they make the grapele, and he said, you know, no way on God's green earth am I going to let you anywhere near that factory. His secretiveness just made me more curious about what was going on there. Over at Thump, we went to Japan to look into the resurgence of Fuejo, a 60-year-old no-dance law which imposes strict regulations on dancing in social spaces. Legally, you have to have a space over 66 meters squared, and you have to stop operating at 1 a.m. They would have literally security standing on the dance floor, and if someone just came in, started grooving a little bit, they'd be like, yeah, they'd be like, no, stop dancing. And Vice News would like to thank all of its viewers for reaching 1 million subscribers on YouTube. Thank you, 1 million subscribers. Bango. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to all the channels across the Vice Network. Until next time, this has been the latest on Vice.